Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, good evening. Hello. Hi, yes, Anil Desai. That is my name. It's uh, Anil, A-N-I-L, Anil Desai, like Desai or Desai. That's the easiest way to remember it. I have to mention that because most of my life people have called me either Neil or O'Neil because they're fucking idiots. All right, it's not my name. Some people have gone so far as to give me a porn star name, call me Anal Desire <laughs> since I was nine, which is pretty mean. But uh, my brother's name's Ashfuck, so whole family screwed. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, it's great. It's, I love being here. It's great. It's great. Great. You all having a good time? Yeah. Great. Hey, Matt, now listen up. I'm a big fan of movies. I love movies. You guys like movies? Yeah. All right, just tonight I want to talk a little bit about my love of movies. Uh, do you remember the first film you ever saw in your life? All right, shout it out. Back to the Future. Back to the Future. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, my first, the first time I went to the movies, I was six years old. My auntie took me to the movies to see a double bill. Uh, I was six years old. First film I ever saw was Bambi. Yeah. I know, right? Mother, mother. <laughs> And the second film I saw, don't know who programmed this, second film was King Kong. All right, the black and white one. Are all movies like this? I was traumatized by the time I was 10, but I fell in love with movies. And falling in love with movies, I learned how to impersonate all these different movie characters and movie stars. So folks, what I'm gonna do for you now, I'm gonna bring out some of my favorites uh, for you guys. So would you like to see that? Awesome. I was going to do it anyway, so you didn't really have a choice, but uh, <laughs> I was going to do it anyway. Now, I just need the assistance of Becky. Becky, would you mind helping me out here? Yeah? Great. Give, give a round to Becky. You saw her earlier on. Becky. Uh, so, what I have here, folks, is uh, some cards. I've got, now, I do about 200 impressions. I don't have time to do all of them, so I'm just going to give you a taster. Uh, what I have is some of the uh, impressions I'm going to do. Becky, you just call off the names on the cards. I'll do the impressions. You guys enjoy it. We'll move on to the next one, and we'll try and get through all of them by Thursday. Okay, we'll get, we'll get them done. So, yeah, once you've done it, just put it down. Okay. Cool? Yeah, great. Okay, you guys ready for this? Yeah. Folks, okay, Becky, who's the first one? The movie trailer voice. This guy does all the movie trailers. No one knows what he looks like, but we all know what he sounds like, right? He's like, coming this summer, Titanic now in 3D. Hopefully this time they'll see the iceberg. Just warming up. Okay, who's next? Austin Powers. Austin Powers. Very groovy, baby. You know, you're heading for a smack bottom, yeah. <laughs> I love Austin Powers, right? But he's a bit over the top, isn't he? Like, you wouldn't want to live with him, would you? He'd be like, Austin, what would you like for breakfast? Waffles, baby, yeah! <laughs> Ooh, wounded. Out of the way, Powers, here's Dr. Evil. Look, he has everyone doing so far. Thank you. I'm from Belgium, which is where the Brexit started. Would you like to see the dance? Ticka, ticka. Okay, how about no? Right. Jump in, Becky, anytime. Captain Jack Sparrow. I love Captain Jack. Listen, mate, here's the thing. Wait! Hit the deck and man the sails, here comes a big wave. Whose hand is that? Oh, it's mine. Ta-da! <laughs> Thank you. Becky, Becky. James Jesus. Stewart. James Stewart. How did you say that without moving your lips? It was acting, acting. I was like, James Stewart. Hey, see, James Stewart's one of those older actors. He was in a lot of Hitchcock films and, 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 and a lot of westerns. So you, you got to first, you got to start with a croaky voice there first. See, whoa, 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 whoa. Then you got to get, then you got to, then you got to, then you got to get loud. See, whoa, whoa, whoa. Then you raise those eyebrows and show that smile. Well, well, everything's gonna be all right. Yeah, and if you slow it down, I did not have sexual relations with that woman. <laughs> I got a lot of free time. <laughs> so who's next? Homer Simpson. Homer Simpson. I love The Simpsons. You guys watch Simpsons? Like 28 years we've been watching The Simpsons. I think it'd be really cool if once, once a month they just did like an adult version of The Simpsons. You know, like Homer comes back to the house like, all right, Marge, I've just taken the kids to their grandparents. What shall we get up to? Mm, homie, how about we have a little bit of sexy time? All right, Marge, let me just slip into something a little more comfortable. Mm, homie, is that a banana in your pants or are you just happy to see me? Marge, do you say banana because it looks like a banana? Or because I'm yellow? Think about it. Do you want to go further? Yeah. <laughs> mm, homie, I love it when you take me from behind. All right, Marge, bend over that couch. Woo, looks like a blue hairy donut. <laughs> too far, too far. <laughs> you asked for it. We didn't need to go that far. We don't have to go that far. Just, you're never going to see The Simpsons in the same way again. Who's next? Kermit the Frog. Kermit, so I learned Kermit the Frog when I was 11 years old. I used to try and impress the girls in school. So just for the, all the ladies out there. <clears throat> Hi, uh, this is Kermit the Frog. I'd like to sing you a little song. 
Why do birds suddenly appear every time you are near? Just like me, they long to be close to you. Ah, close to you, girls. Girls. Yeah, it didn't really work then, so uh, stopped doing it a couple of months ago. <laughs> Still single. Uh, I've been, uh, been single for so long, I've worked out how to put suntan lotion on my own back by myself. And I'll tell you how to do it, right? You get a bin liner, dust bin liner, you put it out on the floor, get the lotion, squeeze it out, you get on your back, you go, uh, 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 grab your tail, and you're ready for the beach. All right. <laughs> His next baby. Gandhi. Gandhi. Whatever happened to Gandhi? Because he made one good film, didn't he? <laughs> I don't even have an impression. I just like doing that joke. <laughs> His next. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger. This guy was the biggest man we'd ever seen on screen, right? And then he became governor of California, which didn't make sense to most of us, because as far as we knew, California was Baywatch country, wasn't it? It's like, chicka, chicka, bow, bow, waka, 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 bow. It's like where the nice Beach Boys came from, you know? Because everybody's going surfing. Not today. Come on, you get to get out of here. We get to get into the chopper. Come on, you can do it. Come on, everybody's been mutilated. Do you know, and now, now, right, since Trump's president, right, so Schwarzenegger's taken over from Trump on the Celebrity Apprentice, I think his new catchphrase is going to be, no, you are fired, you are fired, give me the 9 millimeter OC, you're all fired. <laughs> Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson. You want answers? Do you want answers? I've got this bouncing, reclining thing I do every time I talk. Look at my eyebrows. They look like they're about to take off. You jump in any time there, Becky. Christopher Walken. You know, Chris Walken, good. You know, I love this guy. Thank you. Mm. A lot of people ask me, say, hey, Chris, how is it you talk in this upsy, downsy voice? No one actually talks like in real life. You know, I got to tell you, ever since... I did Pulp Fiction, I've still got that watch up my ass. <laughs> Gotta get it out. Mm, thank you. Becky. Optimus Prime and Transformers. Any Transformers fans here? Yeah. I love Transformers. Here's a bit of Optimus Prime. Like. <laughs> this is Optimus Prime. I send a message out to all the Autobots across the galaxy. We are here on Earth. We are waiting in traffic. <laughs> Thank you. Because they, they come to our planet and they turn into cars and they take up more space on the motorway and we don't need that shit. <laughs> Becky's next. Angelina Jolie. Okay, this is one for the ladies. How you doing? This is how you doing, Angelina Jolie impression. Give me a countdown from five. I can't, I can't talk with my tongue right around my face. I don't know how Angelina does it. It's really impressive, isn't it? Okay, Jim, who's next? Jim Carrey. Well, I'm not really ready for a relationship, Becky. But thank you for asking. <laughs> hey, maybe I'll give you a call sometime. Your number's still 911. Alrighty then, bye-bye now. <laughs> Woo! Thank you very much. I'm here all night. Liam Neeson. Do you guys ever watch that uh, Taken film series, Liam Neeson? I watched it recently because when you do comedy, right, you only work half an hour a day, so you get a lot of downtime. And uh, so I watched, like, I watched the Taken films recently, and I thought, I had a good, good idea for a sequel, if they ever did one, right? So it'd be like a... Hello. Now listen, I don't know who you are, what you look like, or where you live, but if you lay one finger on my daughter, I will hunt you down, I will find you, and I will kill you. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes, but I was just calling from Waterfront to make sure your service was working okay. <laughs> and I thought about it afterwards, and I thought, if I got cast in the Taken films, that's probably the only part they'd offer me. They go, you can play the call center guy. I'll say, screw you, Hollywood. Why do I have to play the call center guy? Why can't someone else play the call center guy like Tom and give himself an Indian name? Because there's no one like you doing that job no more, man. That's why, that's why ladies and gentlemen, that's why I became a comedian, because uh, all the other Indian jobs were taken. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Robert De Niro. Robert De Niro. That's the last one? Yes. Thanks so much, Becky. Becky, everybody. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, Robert De Niro is my, uh, my, uh, probably my favorite actor. Are you any fans of Robert De Niro? This is probably only the, magic, the only magic trick that I can do. Now, you'll all agree I look nothing like Robert De Niro, right? 
Okay, I need you all to count to three together. Little monkey at the back there. Ha <laughs> ha. Just me. How you doing? I'm watching you. I'm watching you. You, you, you got a gift. You got a gift. I know what it is, but your next birthday, you got a gift. It's just me. It's just me. It's just me. Uh, folks, uh, you've been delightful. I'm going to leave you with a quick, quick couple of things. Now, uh, one thing is that uh, I am single. And if there are any single ladies in the audience that would like to hang out with a guy like me, show me around South End. I can be any man you want me to be. Okay, and the other thing is, a little story, a quick, let me quick, let's wrap up with a quick story. Uh, you guys, thank you, you have been de delightful. Thanks for having me here. Um, my name, uh, so the story, right, so it's a, one of the occupational hazards of doing stand-up comedy is that you can get heckled at any time in any language, anywhere around the world, right? I've been, I've traveled around, right? I've been heckled in various languages, but this one person decided to heckle me when I was in the middle of doing an impression, which had never happened before. Now, I was doing my impression of Eddie Murphy as the donkey in Shrek. You seen Shrek? Right? Okay, here's what went down. <clears throat> Hey, yo, Shrek! Hey, yo, Shrek! You ever gonna say the princess, right? You ever gonna say the princess? Hey, come on, Shrek! Hey, Shrek, you're going the wrong way, man. The princess did... Oh, Shrek! Oh, Shrek! There's a big dragon behind me, Shrek! <laughs> I believe the children are a future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Show them all the beauty they possess inside. Shrek! And then this guy just got up from the audience and goes, All right, shit, all black people sound the same. <laughs> and 150 people went... Whoosh. And they looked at him and they went, looked at me and went, what are you going to say, funny man? And I stood there frozen on the, on the spot and I thought, I got thought two things. One, I don't think this guy is going to get out of this comedy club alive because he's still got to get past the secur security guard on the door. <laughs> he was. And two, I was deeply offended as an impressionist because he just said they all sound the same. I thought, what do I do here? Then I realized I was being Eddie Murphy, so I decided to stay on stage as Eddie Murphy. And here's what went down next. What was that? What was that? Yeah, I heard what you said. Yeah, I heard what you said, man. He said, oh, that shit. All black people sound the same. Yeah, that's what you said, right? That's what you said, man. <laughs> I'm going to fuck you up. And then out of nowhere, right, Mr. T jumps in and goes, huh, I pity the fool said all black people sound the same. I'm going to rip off your head and stick it up your ass. Huh. And then Samuel L. Jackson jumped out. What? I don't remember asking you a goddamn thing. Say that again. I dare you. I double dare you. And then Nelson Mandela jumped out. I did not spend 30 hours on Robin Island for this. And then Bill Cosby jumped out. You people, now did somebody put something in his drink? Aww. And then Denzel Washington jumped out. <clears throat> All right, everybody, calm down, Connor. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just talking to you. Yeah. My man, my man. Yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you just said all black people sound the same, right? No, that's what you said. That's what you said. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you don't think so now. <laughs> oh, you're going to apologize, all right? As long as you learn something. As long as you learn something today. Because if you didn't, I'll bust your ass. Yeah. Okay, the floor is now yours, Mr. Freeman. Well, thank you, Denzel. And that heckler, why he got up and he apologized to everybody in that room. But I've never seen him in a comedy club ever again. And the moral of that story is, while you're out here enjoying yourselves at the comedy show, don't fuck with the comedians. I'm Morgan Freeman. And I've been an ill to folks. You've got a great lineup coming up. Thank you very much. Good night. <laughs>